everybody today is wednesday welcome to a new weekly vlog i'm sorry i'm filming this speaky bit on the wednesday but i returned to work monday i was really fatigued and exhausted from it literally i felt really rough after going back to work i think it really worked my chest out and lungs big time so i really just was too exhausted i wanted to read and i was just far too exhausted monday and then tuesday i sort of like chilled out in the morning part with Will and then I went to work 1.30 till 9 yet again came home feeling pretty tired and exhausted so watched TV and then near enough went to bed after the cats pretty much settled and then yeah this morning pretty much just been up just had a cup of tea I've just done the washing up from last night and this morning and need to give the place a good tidy today it needs a good hoovering because it's a week later and it, it, the floor is a bit of a mess so it is annoying me so the flooring does need a good hoover and I'll just give the kitchen and the bathroom a real quick mop over and a tidy as I normally do and then I've got to jump in the shower because I need a shower and then yeah after that at least those two main jobs are done I did my lateral test today already it's negative hallelujah uh, so that's pretty good as well and then some point this afternoon I do need to clean the cat's fountain but that's fine I can do that sort of like later this afternoon because it's like a 10 minute job that just needs a proper good clean and then other than that I think that's my jobs for today done um so I'll probably try and like relax I might I'm, I'm actually kind of feeling like maybe I might jump on like the playstation later and jump on and maybe play like a either a new game or a final fantasy game or something like I was looking at it the other day and I was thinking, but I was like, I need to do it in like a daytime because doing it in an evening, I just, I just get too tired. So I want to do it in like a, like a, when it's kind of like daylight and where I can commit some hours to it. But I'm only going to do that if I can literally like sit down and do some reading first. So yeah, I might like after I have some lunch when Will goes to work, I might sit down for a good hour, get a good chunk read and then my reward can be to jump on and play some I might film some gaming videos as well because it's been a while but I do need to like jump on and play some Ratchet and Clank at some point because I was playing that and filming video episodes of that so and there was one time the last time I tried to do a Ratchet and Clank, Clank episode and it actually failed to film it wasn't filming the video so I had to play that episode all over again which is really frustrating so yeah, I wasn't recording on the PlayStation if I remember, so I was too annoyed at that time to just be like, Ugh. so I've got to like try and at some point do that all over again. No! Well, the cats are awake, so it's a good time to do the hoovering now. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah, but Shatter Me is the book. And yes, okay, I'm carrying it forwards from January because it's the late night book one book club, but I am um, like near enough three quarters of the way through page 227 it is a reread for me as well it's just refreshing my mind of what happens and then the live show for this is this saturday evening at 7 p.m it's not going to be long as the journey going to be for an hour where we just like chat about the book and stuff so yeah um i'll be reading this today but yes the lovely monthly has started finally so i am feeling all sorts of cramps and fatigue and waves of pain and destruction but happy to finally have one because it's been so many months i'm not the only one that's doing my hoovering today i've got neighbors doing their hoovering <laughs> anyway so i'm gonna head off now so we can get but cleaning done out of the way and then hallelujah we can relax so i'm gonna say goodbye and i'll speak to you very soon hey guys i can't remember when i last vlogged for you so i'm really really sorry about that but to be honest not a lot has happened this week it kind of has just been my first like you know kind of full week really in returning to work because I obviously had the COVID and yeah so returning to work has been crazy really crazy crazy but 
here I am, here I am. So yeah, it's like the first end of the first coming up to the end of the first week of February now, and it is Sunday, so I probably will end up wrapping up today for you as well because I've got work this very evening. But today Will was over, he stayed the night on the Saturday, came back with me after work. At work we went to a small cinema in the next village over and we saw Boss Baby 2. It was actually quite an interesting movie. I'd never watched Boss Baby 1 so yeah it was at first a bit strange to kind of like go back into that but yeah it was like a quite a good film. Um, and yeah I'm just trying to think like nothing really happened on the Friday Thursday I went to view a flat and I really really liked it and I have put an offer in for it I have spoken to a mortgage advisor I'm going to do a mortgage in principle on the Tuesday so <coughs> <coughs> it's all happening folks so yeah so spent the Thursday with Will managed to get a lot done did the cat's claws we played video games I did some reading um, we watched a film watched Netflix um, so yeah so I had a really good Thursday and then Wednesday was quite productive as well um, Will was there until one I ended up cleaning the cat fountain um, and then I hoovered and mopped um, I don't know if I vlogged for you Monday, Tuesday, but to be honest, nothing really kind of like happened apart from my work somewhere different on the Monday in a different home. And yeah, I had Wednesday off instead of Friday, so I did work Friday this very week. So yeah, <clears throat> I was looking through audiobooks again because I know previously I did cancel my Scribd subscription. And that's because they were upping it to 10.99. Then I had this offer come to me saying that if I pay annually for Scribd, I will only be paying at seven pounds and eight p. And I thought that's a really good idea because then I could be using it. I love the audiobooks for it. It's just the fact that it went up, and I was like, I don't know if I can afford it. But I'm really, really hoping that I do get my hands on this flat, and then hopefully it only takes a few months, and then I can like move in it has a brilliant like lovely window seat that will be perfect for the cats to like look outside the window look at people maybe like there's some birds nearby or something like i don't know but also a great reading seat as well and i really really liked it it's a studio flat but it's perfect and it's been like redecorated and white goods come with it like i'm just like pretty kind of like happy for that so yeah like that has all pretty much happened um other than that yeah that's that's really all so as you can tell i've had my shower today will was here until 2 p.m i've already taken my lateral it's negative happy days so i was going to do a bit of reading i don't work until 5 p.m and the current time is 3 p.m so I've got an hour and 45 so I really really want to finish Shatter Me by Tara Murphy. I didn't get to finish it in time for the live show because Saturday was really really busy and I didn't get a chance to read enough and where I've had lack of reading the week of Covid and returning to work has just been so busy and knackering me especially my chest I'm still at kind of like at the tail end of my chest I have been like coughing and I'm still quite chesty and yeah like I find when I work my chest is worse and when I come out of work it's worse so it's like resting it at night and making it really good like overnight and in the morning and then to find that it's kind of like <laughs> weak in my chest again I kind of do want to return to like cycling again pretty soon because I want to get back to fitness I mean if not cycling then I want to do like some sort of like other workout or something like go on a walk or something um like maybe with Will or something because he said that he would like to as well so yeah maybe we do like a dance workout or something like I don't know like we'll see what goes on but yeah so only working four hours this evening but I do return to work Monday the 7th and yeah literally I've only got next week and then it is my birthday week the week after which I booked off work 
So yeah, next Tuesday is going to be a busy morning because I have got the Penguin Random House virtual event that I got invited to. I literally had a box come today and in one of the little boxes there's like biscuits and tea. I was like that is so cute, I can literally have some tea and biscuits whilst watching this virtual event. And there's some books that came along with it. It'll be really great and really fun to actually have my first ever virtual like screening where I can see the authors see what books are coming out and yeah you know meet them and stuff and like I think it'd be really really great and yeah I've, I've been given like two bits of paper so of course I can like take some notes um yeah and it'd be really great to kind of like vlog about it and stuff like um and hopefully like pitch out the books that are coming out um to other people to let them know what's coming out and stuff so yeah that's gonna be really exciting and then the show after is when i have my phone call about doing my mortgage and principal so really excited um i'm really excited to get my own first place like my own first home that i actually own you know so yeah it's it's just really nice to have my own place that i own the leasehold to you know it's just it's just really nice it's got its own front entrance as well which is perfect um so yeah just a place for me and the cats to live and yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be so epic i think it will anyway so fingers crossed i do get this place i'll be so disappointed and really depressed if i don't but i know that's life but hopefully if this place is meant to be then hopefully i will get it i'm really excited like you have no idea like i'm literally so excited um so yeah that's all that's happened really guys um so i've only literally got i'm on page 286 and in this book there is only let me just have a quick flick for you guys 338 so 286 and 330 so i've got like less than 50 pages left or something like that around 50 pages i did the live show for the late night book one book club last night i feel like it went really really well um it ran i think just under two hours but we did chat about like bookish stuff afterwards so it's kind of like a chat about shatter me and then it was kind of like chat about books afterwards so it's kind of like the fun side of a live show um so i feel like we did it really well we touched on every topic possible um and yeah it felt really really good and it was really nice to discuss with everybody i did feel a bit annoyed at myself for not getting the book read in time uh, it was a reread for me but i just cannot for the life of me remember what happened at the end of this book which is why i kind of want to like read it now and then i would definitely like do a corporal rating because when i first read shatter me i absolutely loved it and as i'm reading it now it comes across really insta lovey like between julia and adam and obviously one has come across as a creep and i'm just like Mm. so i've also tweeted out from the late night book Women book club twitter if anybody wants to continue the series we can do like a buddy read for it and if so when would people be interested like you know pick a month and we'll read it for that month sort of thing and we can still do a live show and whatever so yeah there's that and also the sequel to house of earth and blood as well like because that literally comes out this month I'm really hoping somebody really nicely gets it for my birthday. Um, if not, I will probably end up getting it for my birthday or something like that as a treat to myself. As long as I enjoy House of Earth and Blood. So I'm hoping to also kind of like try and start that today as well. Because I was really, really hoping that I was going to enjoy <laughs> that book. So yeah, like... Hmm. So that's all I can really kind of like update you on. I'm just going to try and finish Shatter Me before I start work. And hopefully if I have time start House of Earth and Blood um, I don't know if this evening how alert I'll be to start it then but if not then I will do some reading tomorrow after work if not during my break on Monday so yeah yeah we'll, we'll go from there really so that's it really I'll just say that's it for Sunday because the next time I speak to you is probably going to be Monday but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and everything about it if there's anything you'd like to know feel free to comment down below but I hope your week has been great as well let me know what books you managed to read this week what books you're currently reading what books you've purchased what books you got from the library or like what are your plans for next week you know let me know because I love to like discuss that with you guys Sometimes I have this really awful habit of not filming wrap-ups for the end of videos, especially like vlogs. 
and I'm sorry about that. So I literally just discovered there was not a wrap up for this vlog and this is one of like my really short vlogs so yeah just kind of like wrapping up for you guys so that's it for me and I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up all of my social media links are linked down below if you'd like to follow me elsewhere Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, it's literally all there and yeah that's it for me guys so keep smiling keep reading be happy and please please do stay safe my name is Katie and I see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye